Hey everyone, Mario Pareca here, and I am joined, I was just having a conversation actually with someone that, you know, we met through the podcast, and he's also a fellow business owner from Canada. His name's John Vong. He uh, has localseosearch.ca as his website, so go there and check him out. He's an SEO expert, but we were talking about today's day and age, what business looks like, and he had some really interesting insights. The cool thing about him is he was really into immun immunity and all of that stuff before this whole thing hit, and now that it's here, it just kind of leads more into it, and it changes the way we do business. And that's what we were really talking about. So I wanted to take just a few minutes. He's going to be on the podcast. We're going to have some 10-minute conversations coming up real soon. But while we're having this conversation, I just wanted to, you know, have a little chat with him so you can kind of get to know him a little bit. And he has some great insight to share. So, John, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me, Mario. Yeah, wait, let's just get into it a little bit, like business-wise. I know we were talking and you said you were doing a lot of speaking, you were you know, doing trade shows, all those sort of things, and those things just disappeared overnight. So what, what is a business owner to do? Yeah, so in my business, like what you want to do is position yourself as an expert, authoritative, thought leader. But when there's no more speaking and you're not traveling because of you know, a lot of these lockdowns across every city and country, um, you have to resort to online digital. And this is where most of the people uh, in the world today is uh, spending majority of their time, right? They're doing searches, they're spending more time actively engaged and looking for things to do, right? And if you're a business owner that's not really promoting yourself online today, this is a great opportunity to look into it. And if you haven't done so already, look for a company to partner with that can actually elevate and help you improve your authority, right? Becoming more visible digitally. What I want to ask you too is now that you're not speaking as much and you're not because there's no events happening so right now, how has podcasting, because you are a podcaster, you have your own podcast, but how, how are you, be, how has that, you know, kind of filled the gap for that? Because yeah. it's a great platform to, to kind of still be able to speak and still be able to reach an audience. Yeah, so content creation is so imperative in today's world, right? And it could be written format, it could be audio format, such as podcast, or video format, such as video, right? So as long as you're producing content and putting it out in, in the universe, so people can actually listen, watch in their own uh, free time or in their leisure, uh, at least you have a platform to portray that message across, right? So not only are we spending more time on webinars and creating good presentations to impact the, the audience members and pushing, you know, audio, which is podcast and video in, in terms of YouTube out there, um, people are spending more time at home, right? And this is a great chance for you if you're not doing it already as a business owner to continually um, getting your message across, keeping it consistent, but constantly creating and building momentum because it's not a one hit wonder that's going to make you be that known figure. It's consistent messaging on a consistent basis. And you can't just do it once and expect miracles. You got to keep doing it for weeks, months, years. And this is the thing about search engine optimization as well. You can't just do build a website and sit and forget about it. You got to constantly build authority, create new blogs, content, uh, figuring out what the search engines are looking for that month, that day, that week, right? And keep tweaking it so that Google knows and positions you like you know what you're talking about. I love it. And the one thing I guess I want to ask you now, and I, I love the authority, you know, building your authority and making sure you're out there where people can find you no matter what. You, much like me, ran your business remotely before everyone was on lockdown and everyone was, you know, in their homes. So that wasn't a huge shift for you from an operation standpoint. But do you find yourself doing anything differently now that you don't have the option to go out? I mean, I know you're still operating your business as normal. What, are you, what do you do to fill the gaps and to kind of take up, you know, leisure time, whatever, what have you? Yeah, so um, I started this company about seven years ago, and it was all remote. All my staff, contractors are all online, digitally. Um, we have, you know, platforms to communicate meetings, etc., cetera, uh, and sharing documents, right? So everything has already been set up so that it's digitally. The challenge is, even for us today, um, how do we stay focused on keep doing what 
we're doing and not focus on the media and what is out there kind of scaring people, right? So I, I always have our team meeting calls, um, trying to get everyone grouped up properly in the morning. First thing in the morning, I, I do that as a roundup, letting people know that focus on your tasks at hand, focus on your KPIs, focus on your deliverables, and then, you know, take care of yourself. That's the one thing I always remind people. Like, what's more important is you're alive today and you're healthy. Make sure you have that energy and you're able to work and help others that are unable because you have that ability to understand and knowledge, right? And knowledge is power. So impact people that are with the, that don't understand what you've gotten to learn over the years. Thanks so much, John, for the time. I appreciate that. I appreciate everything you shared. I can't wait to have you on the podcast. I want to remind everyone, just keep an eye on the podcast. That we'll, we'll be posting it all over social. When it goes live, we'll have a couple conversations with John Vong. Again, localseosearch.ca is where you can find him and his business. John, thanks so much for having this off-the-cuff conversation with me that we just decided to do right now. And I can't wait to have you on the podcast. Thank you, Mario. I look forward to it.